are two Stephanies, okay? She was called Stephanie, and they called me Pumpkin! <laughs> Then my next immediate thought was, it's North Korea. Like, <laughs> they're kidnapping me. Oh, yeah? You want to kidnap me? Fucking do it. Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to today's vlog from your very own sweetest, thickest, creamiest mooncake. What's up? Did you eat mooncakes this year? It's rotten. <laughs> You're so mean. Oh, my merch. Okay, this is launching Friday. I don't know when you guys are gonna see this because it's Moon Festival. So am I gonna edit anything? Am I gonna get any work done today? Probably not. Welcome to Chinese Moon Festival, AKA Korean Chuseok, AKA Korean Thanksgiving. But where are my Korean family? They're not here. So we're gonna be celebrating Moon Festival, my fiance's family. They're coming over in like T minus 20 minutes. This is my problem with time management. I got Ten issues. Minutes. 10 minutes. <laughs> I should have worn the Rotten Mango Industries shirt that's also launching on Friday because, wow. Now here's the thing, we got a whole surprise plans because it's Moon Festival, this is the, he said this is the most second most important day of a, of a Chinese person's entire year. I don't know, there's a whole thing behind it. We'll talk about it in a minute. But we have a surprise planned for my fiance's grandpa. We actually recently got a printing AKA machine. your grandpa now. AKA my grandpa, <laughs> AKA Grandpa Mango, okay? So we recently got a massive printing machine for him. Not just any printer paper, not just any regular printer, but like a fancy, fancy art print, specifically for art prints type printer. I'm gonna show you the whole spiel, and I really want you to put on your glasses and look at these beautiful pieces of art closely. I want you to look at it with 2020 vision. I want you to put on your glassesusa.com glasses because listen, if you want to be loved by Grandpa Mango, you are not not wasting your money paying retail prices for prescription eyeglasses or prescription sunglasses. One thing our whole family bonds on is the fact that we don't like to pay full prices. If you guys go to glassesusa.com, you cut out the middle, man, which means that you can get prescription eyeglasses and sunglasses up to 70% off retail prices. That's absolutely insane. So insane that you can actually get a complete pair of eyeglasses with a basic prescription starting at just $30. Then you're probably like, wait, if it's that affordable, maybe they don't have cute styles. Are you kidding me? They've got over 9,000 different frames. You can get in-house brands like Amelia E, Muse. Those are some of my favorites because they look so cute, but they're so affordable. Or if you're feeling bougie, you can get Tom Ford, Gucci, Ray-Bans, all at glassesusa.com in the comfort of your home on your couch. And I love their virtual try on mirror, which you just upload a selfie and you can try on 9,000 different frames on your couch. And if you're like me, you get overwhelmed by the amount of choice, you can just take a quick, simple quiz on your style and your budget. They'll match you with a bunch of eyeglasses. And it's a risk free shopping experience, which means for you, free shipping and returns, 100% money back guarantee, full refund within 14 days of delivery, no questions asked. And if you love it, you probably will. You get a 365 day warranty. So make sure to check out glassesusa.com, linked in the description. Thank you, glassesusa.com, for sponsoring today's video. And let's show you the surprise. Look at this. Look at this. Are you kidding? You're kidding me? In the dining room of all places, our curtain is lopsided. Our curtain is falling off. First of all, that's a hazard. We're gonna get sued, okay? Listen, your grandpa is a financially responsible person. He's gonna bonk himself in the head, and we're gonna get an invoice. Get. <laughs> it's okay. We got life insurance. They're here? Oh my god, they can't come in here. I okay, I'm freaking out. out. Why do we live our lives like this, Steffi? Why can't I just figure out time <laughs> management skills? Steffi, oh. get it together. I was like, Babe, like I want to film a podcast right now. Right before they get here. And he's like, what? That's dumb. And I was like, but I feel it. No, they are running so. really early their schedule. Because we're so used to, your family will show up an hour late. Yes. My family like to show, show up, up an, an hour, hour early. early. Technically, this is two hours too early. Wait so on. this second office, which is originally, I don't know what it was going to be, honestly. It was supposed to be my fiance's office, and then it just turned into his grandpa's office. This is the surprise. We have been talking about turning his art into prints. You guys know that, but every time we've talked about it, it's been like a joking thing where I was like, ah, yeah, yeah, we're working on it, we're working on it. But he doesn't know that we actually were working on it. Us three, oh my, uh, my uh, fiance's sister included. And we've this? been it's coming. buying Do you see this. It? 
super fancy printer. Do you see that? This, it's printing. Buying this super fancy printer to, to print his art pieces by ourselves because we looked online, so many of these like print shops that you don't know if they're gonna have quality control. We want his grandpa to sign every single piece that you guys purchase, which by the way, it feels weird that I have to clarify this, but there might be one person asking, 100% of the proceeds are grandpa mangoes, okay? So We're just doing about, all the technicalities of this. I was saying, if I sell the yes. art for you, mm -hmm. how much money you think you will be over the moon? And he's like, you know what? One to 2,000, ah, so I'm just so happy. <laughs> what he meant is we have like 30, 20, 30 pieces of these the giant we just artworks. Hung these up and he said if you sell all these original pieces, yeah. if he makes $1,000, $2,000 Selling total, these, not prints, He originals. spent like a few years painting all of these. He said he will be over the moon. And I was like, um, do you even make money from this? And he was like, it's not about money. He's like, I'm 85. I'm not gonna live that much longer. Yeah. And he doesn't even spend money. Yeah. He doesn't spend money, you know? So he's like, whatever he makes, he's like, that's a validation. No, I think I get his understanding. It's like validating that he's an artist because you can love it as a hobby, but when you when you make even like a dollar from it, you're like, yeah. this is my job, this is my career. People see value enough to put their money where their mouth is. I wish I'm about to print it out and then I'm gonna kind of glue it onto that little roll. This is gonna be a rough draft. This is not the final product because yeah. he's here already. We're gonna So I'm it. gonna be like, hey grandpa, I ordered this little art. I wanna show you. And I hand it to him, he opened it up. It's gonna be his artwork. <laughs> and then I will bring him into this office and show yes. him this printer setup. Just so you guys know, <laughs> this equipment already cost more than two grand. And, so um, and if he you wants to sell it for a, a thousand to two thousand, <laughs> maybe we'll break even. <laughs> and on top of that, you have to value it that uh, his sister is creating the website from scratch. Oh, so at, outside this. of her actual work, so we're literally doing. trying to like make a really like, DIY Grandpa art studio. Okay, surprise him with this. These are also look not the that. final pictures, but yeah. look at how beautiful so far. Oh, no, I think he will feel so official. So this is gonna be. We have this on the computer right next to the printer that's <sighs> printing and then we've got oh, these man. hung up so we're gonna tell him that this is his <sighs> office this is where he gets to be an artist so just side note um we're still color correcting the prints yeah this is a whole process we bought like a 300 dollar paper cutter it's kind of ridiculous Tell me, yeah. did you know paper cutter costs 300 dollars i didn't this know <gasps> yeah, everything is so pricey yeah. Testing. is this Ready? really the first test <gasps> oh, that was crazy. Wait, nice. it's not even clean though. Are you serious? So Are you, you freaking kidding me? Look at this. Oh, that's not good. Why? Yeah. Uh, and also, I just want to preface yes. his reaction is going to be really bland. Yeah. But I'm sure he would be very happy. Yeah. Like, he's just not very expressive. Oh, that's beautiful. How does that look? That's beautiful. It's a very heavy duty paper. Yeah. Oh no, I got it too small. But it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. This will do for now. Yeah. Did she fix it? I don't even know how to open Is a glue bottle. Is she smarter than you? Probably. It's like we're, we're like a Sir. bunch of kids trying to figure oh. out. Oh, she fixed it! You fixed it! What did you do? It says up and down, like oh, press up. You're well, genius. we definitely know who the wow, smartest so sibling clean. is, honey. So get smooth. it together. I don't know how to open this. Okay, okay, then I don't know how to open this. It's Tiffany. <laughs> So what it this is, is their spread. <laughs> you don't know what this is. Okay, okay this so is crawfish. crawfish. Yes. This is Chinese rice cake. Rice rice cake. Rice cake. <gasps> I love rice cake. Do you remember this? What is that? That's, That's taro. taro. Listen, so I've only had it in boba version. Okay. Oh, wow. Salted pepper shrimp. Okay, and then string beans. Yes. That is. Enoki mushroom? Oh, mushroom, yeah. Mushroom. Enoki mushroom, yes. And then... Chicken wings. Okay, and then... Rice cake. Oh, those like, look stir so fried good. Rice cake. This is all homemade, so I'm really excited for this. Okay, it's about to happen. Wait, do you... Do you... My grandpa said, somebody do this very good. <laughs> He's very excited. <laughs> oh, this is what's yeah. important. This is the website. He's the sun. Very good. He said, beautiful. He's so pretty. He's very happy. He's very enthusiastic. And then he left. <laughs> oh my god, my grandpa brought in one more. <laughs> he brought more. Wow. Everyone 
one is so different. There's yeah, so much detail. Is, this is like a traditional Chinese oh. um, like a type of art. Like people perform on it's, stage. These are all like famous characters from the, from the history. Oh my so god. They, they dramatize it. That's oh. the Oh, this is beautiful. Are you kidding me? Later. This is actually probably one of the most ridiculous purchases in a while. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. It's a two-story condo. <laughs> Mango loves looking out the window. The problem is she's not tall enough to look out any of the windows, and it's been driving her nuts. She keeps scratching up the wall. She's miserable. Tell her, Mango, you're miserable. Justify this ridiculous purchase. So we went online and we ordered this two-story condo. Look at how much she's loving it. You've got a bottom downstairs den, and the stairs lead you to this very comfortable, very cozy loft. Oh. When the shades are open, when the sun is shining in, this is her favorite spot. She can look out for any packages that come and let me know. And trust me, she and lets me know, okay? Who's gonna tell our dogs that delivery drivers are not gonna rob us? Who's gonna tell them? Actually, I don't know if that's true anymore. Let me tell you guys a story of what recently happened. So, um, if you guys follow Rotten Mango, our podcast available wherever you listen to podcasts, we did one on North Korea. Not just North Korea, but the dictators, the Kim Dynasty of North Korea, and their tendency to kidnap people. Not North Koreans, not North Korean defectors, but to kidnap random people that are citizens of different countries. Just snatch them, bring them to North Korea for whatever reason that they intend. It's all in the podcast. So I'm thinking, am I gonna get kidnapped? Like that was the biggest thought in my head. We post the podcast and almost immediately after we post the podcast, there's a strange U-Haul truck at the bottom of our driveway. U-Haul, not a UPS, not an Amazon truck, a U-Haul, not a FedEx, a U-Haul. So I'm thinking, I'm not moving. If I ordered furniture, it's not coming in a U-Haul, okay? If none of our neighbors are moving, this is strange. So my immediate thought is, they're gonna rob us, which is fine, okay? I mean, it's kind of smart, you gotta give it to them. They rent a U-Haul, they can fit so much more stuff than if they were to bring a sedan or even like an SUV, because how big are SUVs? They obviously can't rob a house in a pickup truck. So a U-Haul, I mean, it makes sense. It's traumatic, but it's not the end of the world. As long as they don't kill me, not the end of the world. Nothing to see here, right? But why would they go through the hassle? Why would they go through the hassle of robbing specifically this house in broad daylight when we got like 50 people home? Doesn't make sense. So then my next immediate thought was, it's North Korea, <laughs> like they're kidnapping me. Cause think about it, North Korea, if they come, I mean, do they have cars here? Probably not, they're probably renting cars. Why rent a car when you can rent a U-Haul? And it's perfect to kidnap people out of. You're thinking, okay, maybe she called the cops, maybe she called her dad, maybe she was like, hey dad, come on over, I'm about to get kidnapped, please save me. No, our windows are frosted. They're kind of see-through. You can see the shadow through the frosting of the glass. And I did that on purpose because I like to see if someone's standing outside my front door, I don't have to check the cameras, I can literally just like poke my head out and I see a shadow. Here's what I did. I got right in front of that door. And I was like, okay, I feel like they can see the front door from where they're parked. I don't like this. Because I don't want them to think I'm a girl. I don't want them to think I'm a girlfriend. So I'm like, you want to me? Look at my muscles. Oh yeah, you want to kidnap me? Fucking do it. Um, turns out people actually deliver packages in U-Haul trucks. <laughs> <laughs> it was just an Amazon delivery. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I'm doing this in front of the front door. Like this. And then I'm like telling my fiance, like, well, call the cops, do something, don't just stand there. So he's looking at the cameras and he's like, oh, there's, there's two of them. One of them just got out. So I'm like, oh man, I gotta do more. I gotta do more, right? I'm doing the most, right? And he's like, oh my God, they just got out, they just got out. <gasps> it's a delivery guy. He just put a package down. I'm like, okay, well, I gotta talk to y'all tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow that was so exhausting it's so much more exhausting than anything I ever do when I'm with his family and this sounds messed up but it's not I get really exhausted very very quickly because I feel like the whole time my posture has to be like this I feel like I gotta be attentive your mom reaches for a water bottle I'm grabbing a napkin wiping the top of it first you know what I mean like it's just it's the absolute most but I had so much fun today I feel like every time that I see them they get looser with me. Like they care less about me and I'm like, this is what I want. 
<laughs> like, they stop asking me questions. They stop telling me to learn Mandarin, you know? They're like, ah, oh, she's a lost cause. The more I get to know this girl, I'm just gonna ignore her. And I'm like, this, this right here is family. So essentially, that's kind of what happened today. I had a blast. And his cousin came over, he speaks English. I was like, yes, I can talk to someone. We had a fun time. And then we did the big surprise, which was really anticlimactic. And I was kind of sad and I was like, oh no, like his grandpa doesn't really like it. But then the whole rest of the night, which was like three, four hours after we did the surprise, in his hand, he kept the printout that we did. And he kept, he kept looking at it and I would make eye contact with him and he would go, ha. <laughs> Hell, which means good. And then everywhere he went, that printout was in his hands, and he was like, "How?" And he keep wandering into the room. Yes, I saw that. Yes, and then he comes out, and if I make eye contact with him, he'd go, "Oh no, that means very good." Okay. He was saying like after that day, he was like, "Man, I just couldn't figure out how to print these things to make it look good." And now that you have a printer, oh my god, this is perfect. <laughs> This is perfect. I was really nervous at first, but that made me feel so much better. And then his grandma, queen of foosball. I mean, <laughs> that woman can't be stopped. Until the body hit her face. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we had a little mishap where we got really aggressive with the foosball, and the ball flew up from the foosball table, hit her in the face, and she never went near that table <laughs> ever again. And I think it's so cute. Okay, so we, in Korean, we call grandma harmony, which is cute. But you guys call her Nai Nai. <laughs> and it's so cute because your sister, the whole night, is like, Nai Nai, Nai Nai. Because the fuso was going over there, and I was like, this is like the cutest thing. <laughs> and then you guys call your grandpa Ye Ye. Uh huh. Ye Ye! <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Oh, I wish you named the website that. Ye Ye. <gasps> what in the heart right here? You Bits. Like it? I love it. And then you call your sister Mei Mei. And it's so cute. It's the <laughs> cutest thing ever. And then you call me Oppa. <laughs> <laughs> Your sister calls you Oppa, but in Chinese, and I always get thrown off by it. All I hear, okay, whenever she comes over, she's like playing with the dogs, and she's like, Gugu, can I get them a treat? And I hear it, and I'm like, wow. I think it's really cute that you call her Mei Mei. Or sometimes you just call her Mei. So that girl Tiffany. Oh yeah, I think that's weird. Why is that weird? I don't like that. Your Why sister calls you Stephanie. Because we don't have a word for Tongsang. Nobody calls someone Tongsang. Like that's saying younger sister, but you don't say younger sister. Like it's as weird as saying younger sister. So you just call them by their name. Wow. Yeah. So anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Because I gotta go. I gotta go to sleep. I gotta make sure no U-Haul truck comes through the night. And uh, I'll see y'all in the morning. Bye. Good night. The next day. It's the next day. Is she wearing the same thing? Absolutely. Do you expect me to change? Fine. For you, I will. I will change. Just for you. Guys, the shirts are also available at fanjoy.co slash Stephanie Sue. <laughs> Sorry, so my fiance sister is here, Tiffany's here because she's working on grandpa's website. This is turning into a conference table. We're doing the absolute most. But I recalled last night, I had no idea what Moon Festival was. I still don't really understand Moon Festival, so I sat down and I was like, but can you guys explain to me? Korean Chuseok. 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 There's a meaning behind yeah. that too. Mm -hmm. You gotta understand your roots too. Yeah. Definitely. So my mom, I asked her, I was like, Oma, what do we do for Chuseok? And she said, you eat songpyeon. It's a dessert with the black sesame inside. Just like balls of dough uh, with black sesame on the uh, inside. Yeah. And then so I was like, did you bring home some songpyeon? Because we have mooncakes for you. Do you have songpyeon for us? And she said, I gave it all to your sister. Yeah. All with my sister. I didn't even get to take a bite of songpyeon. So uh, I I did have a lot of moon cakes for moon festival. What exactly is moon festival? What are we celebrating? What's so special about the moon? Oh, then my sister explained a story. <laughs> this is her face right now. Oh no, she did not. You She's know, Googling how you it. Know, everybody knows this. Where's the moon festival come from? I don't know, a pig. <laughs> she a said pig? a pig. That's a different story. What's the story of the pig? Tell her the pig. <laughs> <laughs> you know monkey You know you, monkey oh, Can I tell you something? 
When he was growing up, did he love Monkey King? Does yes, he, he love, love Monkey, Monkey King? King? Every night we lay in bed, he talks about Monkey King. You used to tell me a story. Why does it have to be Monkey <laughs> King? I actually told you about the pig. So Monkey King and Shifu, they went to a village. Okay. There is a pig who turns into a human. He was a god. He got sent to the ground because he was snooping on a girl showering or something. <gasps> and the god sent him down to be a human. But instead, he accidentally fell into the animal cycle. Uh, so he became half god, half pig. pig. So Power the monkey. girl that the pig was snooping on yeah. was the lady who lives on the moon. Oh, she so you were lady. telling the truth. The moon lady. So she knows the story. She doesn't know the story. There's an original story. The thing about the pig is a sequel. How did the girl woman get on the moon? That's why we celebrate Moon Festival. I told you about back in the days, there were 10 suns in the sky, right? He tells me at night right before I fall asleep, okay? <laughs> so there were 10 suns in the sky? Mm -hmm. And then what happened? And then like each one kept dying. No. Someone kept stealing them. No. Someone kept shooting them down. Yes. Monkey King. Monkey no. King. <laughs> there was someone who's really okay. strong. Uh -huh. So he grabbed a bow and arrow, he started shooting the sun uh -huh. down. He shot nine of them down. And then people said, okay, okay, let's not shoot the last one too. Yeah. Let's keep the last one. And then as a reward, one of the goddess, the main goddess in the sky, rewarded him a pill. If you take that pill, you will live forever. Okay. So he brought the pill home, yeah. but he has a lover. There's multiple versions. One of the versions is the lady got greedy. The wife got greedy. So she secretly took it one night. And then she flew to the moon. That's why when you look at the moon, when it's full moon, you look at the shadows, it looks like a woman sitting there. Mm. That's her, the moon lady. What is she called? Chang Lu. Chang Lu. Apparently she's very beautiful. She has a bunny as a pet. And she just sits on the stone and just stare down at him every day. And every 15th, which is the moon festival day, the moon uh -huh. is the roundest. That's when you can see her. That's when they can see each other. So they will stare at each other once, once a year. year. Oh. Wait, so the fucking whole festival is based off a love story? It's a love story, yes. Mm -hmm. And then everyone, family will gather together to look at the moon. So full moon, together. it's a full circle. It's a full family. It's a day for family, friends, like that. Yeah, so every moon festival, people are supposed to sit together, we eat moon cake, and just look at the moon. That's so cute. Would you look at me if I was on the moon? You are the moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Korean we have something called, what is it? 달대가리? Which means your face is as big as a full moon. <laughs> because it means your face is big and round. <laughs> we were talking about how fall is coming up. And Tiffany is like, well, we should go get some like pumpkins. Mm -hmm. And I'm a little traumatized. So my fiance is like, cut it out. We don't need pumpkins. It's because they used to call me pumpkin. This, this is not okay. So with my family and our family friends, there are two Stephanies, okay? Me and then another Stephanie. She was called Stephanie and they called me pumpkin. <laughs> they called me pumpkin. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, Moon Festival vlog and my fiance's freaking grandpa surprise. Yay, yay, surprise. Am I saying He's that so right? Happy. He was so happy. He didn't even look happy, but he was so happy. Yeah. So hopefully by the time that you guys see this, it will be up and running. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. If it's not up and running, then we'll just leave the website for now. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Make sure to check out glassesusa.com linked in the description because listen, I need you to see the art prints clearly. I need you to soak in the beauty. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh